And North Carolina delegates could help Clinton go where no woman has gone before. And it has you talking online and on social media. WNCT's Zora Stevenson joins us now to share some of that reaction coming in, Zora. If Clinton officially clinches the nomination, she'll be the first woman to represent a major party as a presidential candidate. And one local woman says this milestone is about more than just politics. I'm just moved by the fact that a woman has the option. Hillary Clinton is confident she'll represent the Democratic Party in this year's presidential election. The first time in our nation's history that a woman will be a major party's nominee. For women all across the country and arguably the world, her presumptive nomination is a victory for the entire gender. Longtime Democrat and Clinton supporter Norma Warren says her mother and grandmother never dreamed they'd see a woman representing a major party. She says it's incredible how far this nation's come. In 2016, we not only are voting, we are now on the ticket. Warren says Hillary's projected victory sends a message that anyone from any party can identify with. Hillary Clinton is showing all women, black, blue, white, green, yellow, or purple, it's possible. You can do whatever you want to do. Warren's fellow Democrats in the East say the Hillary milestone came at the perfect time. The party can now look at the bigger picture. The Democratic Party can focus on winning in November, which is important all the way up and down the ballot uh, and getting away from the idea of fighting. Bernie Sanders supporters say they won't see Clinton as the nominee until the convention in July. One volunteer says Sanders efforts go past this election. To me this is more than a campaign. This is the birth of a movement and I will remain part of that movement. As for Warren, she says no matter what side you're on, we all have to recognize one thing. It's history. And whether you like Hillary or whether you don't like Hillary, it's history. And you have to give her respect for that. Hillary Clinton sat down with CBS News' Scott Pelley. What she thinks her biggest obstacle is in the race ahead. That answer tonight following this newscast on the CBS Evening News. Zora Stevenson, 9 on your side. All right, thank you, Zora.